Gee, sure am hungry. Wish I had something to carry all this food in. I wonder who has an answer to this problem. Mrs. Coates! Oh, hi, Fred. Hi! I was just looking at all this food I had, and I needed to make sure to, I had something to carry it all in. Well, come sit at the table. I could go over what today's fabulous things are. Gotcha. Okay, so remember yesterday I put this one out, and then I put this one out. Mm-hmm. And then I put this out. Yeah. So, what are all three of these? Let me get a better shot of all of them. They're all different. They're right? all very different, yeah. This one's round. This one has like a lid, two mm -hmm. lids. And we all know what this one is. This is like the This is Mrs. Box. Coates' lunchbox. It is Mrs. Coates' lunchbox. Hmm. So, what are all three of these? Do they all hold food? Yep. How do they all hold food? Because they're all lunch boxes. What? Yeah. Even that cup? This? Yeah. Well, I'll go over that first. Alrighty. Alright. So this is actually a child's lunch pail. Lunch pail? Yeah, this is probably from 1890s. Ah. So when they went off to school, we didn't have lunch boxes like they didn't have lunch boxes like this, right? Mm-hmm. No, so they had ones like this. A lot of them did have lids. I don't know if this one had a lid or not. Mm. But inside these usually was a napkin because they used it as a placemat. Mm -hmm. And this little thing held all their food. Wow. So as a size comparison, here's a, a, actually a small apple. So maybe they had a small apple in there, a little sandwich, maybe a cookie. Mm. And that's about it. Do kids nowadays bring a whole lunch box filled Yeah, they have a filled lunch yeah. box. So this would be a child going to school's lunch. Wow. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Size difference. Now this one is really cool. Yeah, that one looks a little bit more traditional, but is it made of... It's made of metal. It's made of metal. Wow. And first I'll go over this part. Mm -hmm. So this is actually... Uh, two different types of people use this lunchbox. Coal miners and railroad people. Ah. So these lunchboxes were produced in the 1800s. Mm hmm And this was actually called a hot lunchbox. How would it make it hot? Ah. When you lift up this here, they would pour hot liquids or coffee in there. Whoa. And that would keep lunch hot. Then they would take this section off here and pour it into this and then drink it. Huh. And in this lunchbox, this is really old, there's different trays mm. to put food on. So maybe you'd put something you want cooler on the bottom. And then your hot meal on the top And then whatever plate. on here you want warmer. Gotcha. So then when the hot maybe tea or coffee or soup was put in, it would keep it hot for the day. Gotcha. So especially coal miners, I think it was probably the biggest population to use these. Are mines cold? Mines are freezing cold. And are they wet and damp? Yeah. So do you think they would enjoy a hot lunch? Oh, they would love a hot lunch. Were they, did they go back up to the surface for lunch or did they have to stay beneath? They had to stay there? Yeah. So they would take this with them. They'd keep it warm all day at lunch. They'd have some warm drink or soup. And it would keep them going through the day. Hmm. So that's my lunchbox story for today. Well, lovely. The teasers for tomorrow are we're going outside. <sighs> so I can't show you now because I can't bring them in the house. No. But we're going to be outside and I'll give you a clue. They were from, do we all know Mrs. Parsiak from Bedwell? Yeah. They came from Mrs. Parsiak's husband's grandpa's farm. Wow. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So we're going to go over what those are next. So guys, I miss you very much. I hope you're all healthy. Keep washing your hands. Be good for your parents. And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.